for many, the journey is only beginning. A journey that began too soon. For many newborns at the Golisano Children's Hospital Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, this is where they spend their first weeks and sometimes their first few months of life. Well, it's more common than you'd think, and about 10% of all uh, babies born uh, in the United States require newborn intensive care services. Nurse practitioner Sherry Campbell says premature babies are at a greater risk for disabilities. The brain is out of the womb earlier than it should be, and it's exposed to a lot of stimuli, lights, noise, which is why the NICU is kept dark and quiet, limiting the baby from too much exposure. Babies born premature are at a higher risk for intellectual disabilities and autism. A premature newborn typically stays in the NICU until its original due date. But even after being discharged, the baby is still at a higher risk for learning disabilities, having ADHD and having hearing and vision problems. What we do try to do here in our clinic is to be very progressive. We get physical therapy or occupational therapy or speech therapy for speech delays because we know the brain is what they call plastic for the first three years of life, where the, where the brain can really um, uh, rewire, basically recircuit, and uh, babies can overcome quite dramatic things. Campbell says with early intervention and appropriate therapy, most premature babies are able to live a happy, healthy life. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Lindsay Fry.